the sun didn't show up. The steady and soft drops of rain started to fall from a sky of grey velvet. It softly hit the car windows as we drove south of Toronto. Despite the weather, the rain calms me. It took us two hours before reaching Niagara on the lake, a quaint town of Ontario near the famed Niagara Falls. At 10 a.m., the entire town screamed silence. As the car engine sang to the lone country roads of Ontario, the wintry trees showed resilience. The leaves may have fallen, but they are so proud as if their silvery brown skin was their glory all along. We walked towards the famous Horseshoe Falls, a force of nature, both beautiful and brutal. Tranquil from a distance, but deafening up close. We could hear the water dashing, splashing and roaring, as if angry at the small space through which it was forced to pass. Standing right in front of the mighty Niagara Falls was just surreal, frozen but stunning. Braving the cold weather and strong wind, we made it to Clifton Hill. Colorful shops, entertainment areas, and a house of horrors surround the street. We rode the Niagara sky wheel to have a better view of the entire falls. As we rose higher, all we could see was grey, white, and blue. Traveling to new places makes you realize a lot of things. There, I could be anyone, or perhaps no one at all. The people flowed like rivers, never stopping for obstacles but swirling around them. On those wide avenues with wilted trees, their leaves curled and fall on a cold December night. On days like this, I crammed in with more bodies than I could count even in a photograph. I tilt my head to the sky. The empty grey void gave me the strength just to walk at the pace of the crowd and just be myself.